you guys watch Breaking Bad? No. Because the star of that show came out with his own version of Maniac Mansion. Called Maniac Cranston. <laughs> Um, this is the dumbest thing. We've just come up with like 20 of these. It's like, let's, let's take the name Maniac Mansion and just think of things that rhyme with it and just keep doing that. Very, they came up with a version of Maniac Mansion that was very controversial because it um, showed the plight of slaves in early America uh, in the South and it was called Maniac Plantation. <laughs> There's this uh, uh, version of the game where it was all about uh, practical jokes. Like there's like rubber chickens involved and everything. It was called a uh, maniac pants. And... <laughs> Did you guys see that a uh, famous biblical character came out with his own version of Maniac Mansion? It was called Maniac Samson. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's a uh, lost episode of The Office. <laughs> Where Michael's in the office all day, and he's playing Maniac Mansion, and the episode's name's called Maniac Stanton. No, no, it's Scranton. Good. Scranton. Uh, Scranton. 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 Chase. It's called Maniac Vacation. <laughs> Alright, what do we want? Um, did you guys see when, uh, <laughs> Dennis Miller licensed his own Maniac Mansion sequel, and it was called Maniac Ranton? <laughs> Have you guys ever played the, uh, the version of Maniac Mansion? It was released in the 90s by a popular boy band trio. It was called Maniac Hansen. <laughs> Let's try it again. I totally feel like Jim Hansen right now. I feel like Jim Hansen's lover. <laughs> I feel like Jim Hansen right now because I think I have pneumonia. <laughs>